Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Connor. Welcome back, or welcome to my channel if you're new. So, first of all, update on the dentist. I went to the dentist, and he basically was like, okay, lean back in the chair. We're gonna do some x rays. Oh. Nurse, look at this. My god. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say this in the most professional way possible. Your teeth are effed. So yeah, that was my experience at the dentist. So, I have an appointment in a week to fix things. It's gonna be a lot. My mouth is gonna be in pain. That's what I get for not going. 10 years, it's fine. I've, I've been to the dentist in 10 years, but it's fine because I have best boogie mo. Anyways, let's get to Ugh, that came out so weird. Anyways, let's get... I am channeling RCL Beauty so wrong right now. Honestly, I don't even know if she's like... Let's get on with the video. I don't know if she does that anymore. I have not watched her in a hot minute. Just because I don't like her content, guys. Like, if you're an RCL Beauty stan, I get it. RCL Beauty 101 is pretty good. I love her. But to me... Her content quality has just went <clears throat> And you know, it's probably just because of the videos that I like. You could say the same thing about Shane Dawson, who is my father, who if you insult him, you may or may not be living in the next five minutes. Anyways, let's get on with the video. So, today's video was actually inspired by something that happened today at lunch. So, you know, there's those things when you're a kid, you're always like, uh, I so want to do this, but it's so hard. How will I ever accomplish this task at hand? And then you just never do because you're so intimidated by it. And it kind of just like is put from the front of your mind to the very, very back of your mind where it will probably be locked up and never accessed again. And listen, this is gonna sound stupid, but to me, one, one little version of those things is splitting an apple in half. Now, this sounds stupid, because it is, but I saw on TV a handful of times people just getting an apple and just like pulling it in halves and they're like pretty perfect, and I'm like, I am never ever going to be able to do that. I am such a weakling. Like, this gay is not a muscly gay. How am I ever going to do that? I kind of just put it off and haven't tried it since I was, what, nine? Yeah, I haven't tried it for seven years and your boy is stronger now. So today I was talking to my friends at lunch and my friend because I didn't want to spend money today, brought me uh, milk and an apple. And I'm like, oh, thank you, Alexa, you're the best. And she was like, yeah, I know, carry on with your lunch. I'm like, oh my god, guys, you know what I've been wanting to do since I was like, freaking six? Just like, an apple. And they're like, dude, just do it. And I'm like, I replied, no, I can't do that. Are you guys freaking kidding me? It's impossible. And then Alexa, shout out to Alexa, <laughs> uh, she was just like, no, just hold the apple like this and then pull either with your fingers or your thumbs and then it'll split. And I'm like, okay, I'm putting my faith in you right now, faith which I don't have. And I'm going to try, no, I am going to split this apple in half. So, I like concentrated super, super hard into just splitting it. The next thing I know, I have two apple halves in my hand. And my friend can like account for this. The smile that was literally on my face. My thumbs were in pain because I probably did it wrong. But I couldn't even feel the pain because of what happiness like overflowed my body. It was like a tsunami of emotion, and the emotion was good. I'm just like, oh my god, I actually did that. I actually accomplished something that I've been wanting to since I was like six. And it was so great, it felt so good. 
So, that got me thinking. There's other things like that in my life. There's other accomplishments that I want to have that I never did because I thought it would be way too difficult or impossible. But this opened my eyes. And yes, I know, I know how stupid this is to compare like an apple to like getting a job or a career that I want and I love. To equate those things is ridiculous, but it's like a door opened for me after I cracked the apple in half. Because I was in so much pain. Again, I know this sounds stupid. I was in so much pain from the apple because I most likely did it wrong and my thumbs were just like swelling with pain, but I couldn't feel any of that because of the overjoy that was in my face. Again, that got me thinking, why not apply this to my other aspirations in life that are lower, equal, or above the difficulty level of an apple? So that's what advice I wanted to give you guys, and it's advice that I wanted to follow. Please note that this video is not scripted. None of my videos have been scripted, ever, but um, why did I want to preface this, that, this video with that? Oh, because this is literally all from my heart, I have not rehearsed this whatsoever, aside from literally setting up my camera being like, hmm, what, what video should be today? <gasps> the apple. What I want y'all to take from this video, aside from joy from watching me every Wednesday, <laughs> I'm not going to include the rest of that fake vomiting because it got too real and I felt it in my throat and I don't want anyone in the comments to vom. So the takeaway that I feel is here is your aspirations are achievable no matter how ridiculous they may sound, no matter how small as in an apple or how huge, as in, say, a house. You can reach for those. And yes, there may be pain on the way, but once you get to the top, it's gone. Yes, physical pain will still be there later, but in the moment, you're so happy. You're so... I need to look up a thesaurus for other words for happiness. But literally, emotion just flows over your body. Like, I almost started crying when I split the apple in half. So, I want you guys to think of your craziest dream, and I want you to reach for it. I want your aspirations to become true. I don't want them to be dreams, I want them to be a reality. So, that is the point of this video. To inspire you like the apple inspired me. So please, after you've given this video a like and shared it, <laughs> go out and follow any dreams that you've put in the back of your mind because you thought they were too hard. That's what I'm gonna do. So, thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up or a little thumbs up if you got tiny Trump hands. Leave a comment below of anything they want me to do in my upcoming videos or if you just want to say hi, I read all my comments. And if you like what I do and want to stick around for more content like this or anything else that I do in the future, make sure to click the little subscribe button down below. And next to it, hit the notification bell to get notified every time I post. Okay, my light is dying. Um, I haven't charged it in probably four recordings. So a month. Wow, this light has lasted me a month. Thank you. Bye!